Hello everybody, this is Grandpa Scott again for another mini Snapseed tutorial lesson. However, today is not so much a tutorial, but it is a time when I'm going to put it all together. We've gone through all the tools in Snapseed so far. The videos are to come with dealing with the uh, filters, but we've done all the tools. So now I'm going to take this video and show you just how quickly you can combine a lot of these different tools for some great effects. I'll show one photograph on just how quickly I go through a normal process of putting all this stuff together. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, let's put it all together from start to finish. I'm not going to explain a lot. I'm just going to move you through what I actually do in a picture. This picture is on my camera roll, a picture I took on vacation. I open it up and say, do I want it? that picture? Yes, I do. And what do I do, want to do with it? Already my mind is churning, the gears are churning. I'm saying, ah, the colors aren't really there. Uh, it's a little muted. The, the cropping's not what I want. So I decided in my head, I'm going to make some changes. So first thing I do is I open Snapseed. And I look for that picture on my camera roll. And I open it up. I know I want to crop it, so I start with a crop. I'm going to choose square and I am going to put his, my grandson's eyes right in the thirds. Okay, I'm done with crop. Then I move to tune image. Now we start with the ambience and tune image. I'm going to give me some ambience where I like it, uh, about right there, before and after. I like that. Move up to contrast. I'm going to give it a little punch of contrast, not too much. A before and after, I like that. Saturation, pump that up. It's easy to overdo saturation. Before and after, I like it. Uh, then I've got shadows. I'm going to punch that up a little bit. For those who are interested, a little more advanced topic, when I do shadows and highlights, I'm looking at the histogram down the bottom left corner. Watching that pretty close and see if I like it. There you go, I like it. Now I move up to brightness. I always do brightness last. Uh, brightness, I'm going to take that actually down a little bit. And I'm going to go back and check my shadows and highlights. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they still work. Before and after. See what a major difference to an image makes. I like that. Okay, I'm going to move on. Now I look at the picture and I think that grass is just up in the upper left, just too bright. So I'm going to tone that down with selective tool. I'm going to mark that B, see where it adjusts. There you go. Brightness. I'm going to take the brightness of that grass down. What to about 40 before and after. I like that. Saturation I'm going to also take down and after. There you go. I like that. Done. Now I'm going to go to the details tool. I'm going to add some details in the structure. I'm going to add some sharpening. Done. Now I go to the vignette. I always like a little vignette on a lot of my pictures. Adjust the center size, uh, the outer brightness. Mm right there before and after just subtle but I like it and then at the end I just personal preference like to add some sort of frame so I'll just pick number one here and go down to just a very small little thin white frame I like it and I'm done so I will save a copy boom done with that picture now I can always come back, even when I open it again at a later date, Snapseed will bring up this same set of stacks and save the stacks. If we touch stacks, notice that there have been six different adjustments in here. We started with the original picture there. We cropped it, got to that point. We added to an image. Look what a big difference to an image made. Love to an image. And selective. Notice the grass. Change the grass, added some details. There's before details, there's after. Then added a slight vignette, and finally I added the frame. Didn't take very long, 
because I know it's easy when you know how to do this stuff. It's easier when you do it once or twice, but when you do it a lot, it actually can go very quick. And this was actually a little bit slower than my normal process because I had to talk about what I was trying to do. When you get in the habit, it goes really quick. And in a matter of a minute or two, you can have a picture done and then you can come back, open stacks and adjust any tweaks you make at any time on that picture. Snapseed is a great app. Hope you use it a lot. Hope you enjoy it.